Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be covering another All Blacks legend by the name of Richie McCaw, or should I say Sir Richie McCaw. Richie McCaw, Richard Hugh McCaw, was listed at 187 centimetres, 6 foot 2, 107 kg, or 236 pounds, born 31st December 1980, the most capped All Black of all time, the most capped international rugby player of all time, with 148 appearances. Richie McCaw played for the All Blacks from 2001 to 2015, just like his teammate Daniel Carter, um, you know, who's pretty much on, on par as far as legendary status in New Zealand. They both retired after winning the 2015 Rugby World Cup. This video series I'm bringing out because tomorrow, literally, the 2019 Rugby World Cup starts. This video series is covering the top 10 All Blacks of all time. The All Blacks are the New Zealand national rugby team. And uh, the video excerpts you will be seeing in this series, including this video, are from this little gem that I found at the second hand store. Legends of All Blacks Rugby. But what it should be called is the top 10 All Blacks. Top 10 greatest All Blacks of all time. Richie McCaw, another guy from Canterbury, where I'm from. He was born in Omaru, actually, New Zealand, which is about, well, it's probably about three hours south of uh, Canterbury. He played his provincial rugby for, for Canterbury and then for the Crusaders. McCaw made his All Blacks debut in 2001 and in November of 2004 at the age of 23 Richard McCaw was made New Zealand All Blacks captain and he has gone on to become the greatest All Blacks captain of all time. Richie McCaw uh, alongside his fellow ex-teammate Daniel Carter has won the IRB International Rugby Board Player of the Year a record equaling three times. He was the first All Black to reach 100 caps, the first rugby union player to win 100 tests, and he is the most capped rugby player in history with 148 matches. Richard McCaw will go down as one of the greats and uh, I just wish he was still playing. Richie McCaw finished his career in 2015. This, this DVD actually only contains footage up to 2011. Um, Richie McCaw went on to become a sir. Uh, he was, you know, knighted. Um, and, and that just goes to show the, the respect that uh, the whole entire country of New Zealand has for him, a, a, including me. I mean, he, he will go down as most likely the best rugby player of all time. I'm not even going to lie. Unless you're talking about flashiness and pure power and speed, then it might be Jonah Lomu. But I don't know, we'll get into that. Today's video is going to be about Richie McCaw, Richard McCaw, Sir Richie McCaw, uh, All Black number 1014. Enjoy. The time for waiting is over. It's time for investing challenge. Even in the era of Dan Carter, Richie McCaw is thought to be arguably the greatest rugby player on the planet. He is the master of the breakdown area and never hesitates to put his body on the line when it matters. He is certainly the best open side flanker of his era and he not only dominates around the ruck but he has the speed, strength and vision to dominate in the loose. Carter offloads immediately then to Nonu. He's well held on this occasion. Look at the options available though to New Zealand from this sort of position. Collins makes the half break. Couldn't offload but sets it up. Callagher again to the little side for Carter. Good ball inside to Williams. McCaw charging for the try line. And Richie McCaw caps a superb all round display with the try that he so richly deserves chance for Kelleher to get things going again gaps appearing all over the place Umanga 
Hands it off to Okothoko. Lovely support play. Smith again. Well tackled. Couldn't get the ball away either. But now New Zealand come up to play them all in game. Backs doing the job of forwards, loose forwards as well. Finally creating the score. McCaw scores again his second try in a few minutes. After eye-catching performances at under-19 and under-21 level, McCaw was given his first cap against Ireland in Dublin in 2001 at the tender age of 20. McCaw soon earned the respect of both his opponents and his peers. So much so that he was handed the captaincy for the first time against Wales in 2004 when he was just 23. He was subsequently made full-time captain in 2006. McCaw played a big part in New Zealand's Tri-Nations triumphs in 2002 and 2003, and he then cemented his growing reputation at the 2003 World Cup, despite the All Blacks being defeated by Australia in the semi-finals. He finally made the permanent move to open side flanker in 2005, the same year the All Blacks defeated the touring British and Irish Lions. In 2006, he won the IRB Player of the Year, an award he would subsequently win on two more occasions. McCaw then led the All Blacks in the 2007 World Cup, where they failed to do themselves justice, losing to France in the quarter-finals. In 2010, McCaw finally surpassed Sean Fitzpatrick's record of 39 test wins as New Zealand captain, when the team defeated Wales. So that's a big shove from the All Blacks and oh, Richie McCaw goes across and scores an easy try. Australians close the gap very quickly. Here's McCaw! Right. Richie McCaw gets the opening try. He couldn't believe the gap that opened up and there was no stopping him. Looks to be going to the right to Woodcock, quickly on to Sotiano. Drives a couple of metres, and they've got an advantage. Now it's with Smith. Smith charging. Back to McCaw! Richie McCaw! He's back. He is back. Fielded again by Carter. Puts it on the boot and chases and gets it! McCaw! McCaw's in! Richie McCaw! Keller. And from here, it's all catch up rugby for South Africa as Richie McCall goes over close by. Great play, the All Blacks. Richie McCall will be remembered as a great athlete, a great captain, and the consummate modern professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Mine need me a couple dollars. Telling you now this payback. Huh, so I take that. Ask them now, we'll save that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on that.